Hey guys, so um, this is part two of my first video, and yep, she's still at it. She, she's been digging and digging nonstop. This is very indecisive whether she should like drop her egg clutch or not. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the the light box I was using. Very simple, you know, one of those um plastics. Bench you get a target, you know. All I did was just um cut a hole in the middle, so um you know the lights could penetrate through it. All right, so that's it for the lay box. I have a 40 gallon breeder. Um, I currently have one male with uh, with um three females. Of course, that's um the one in there. That's Luna. She's um. A hypo uh, sandfire, and then this is um, this is Cuda. He's um, an Italian leatherback, high orange. Let me see if I can get him in the light so you can get a pretty good view of him. Yeah, so I'm really expecting some good babies out of him. Hold on one sec. He's a, he's a good boy. He's only 10 months old. He's already this big. Well, anyways, um, that's my incubator. It's an Exoterra model PT2499. Uh, I already, already have the temperature set to 85. Uh, I don't know if it works or not because this is my first time ever breeding. You know, I'm really hopeful that all her eggs are fertile. So there'll be future, you know, future opportunities for me to keep breeding. And hopefully this this um, incubator doesn't just shut down on me. It's pretty cool. You know, it's got, it's got an LED light. It's got, um bottom section to keep the humidity level controlled I added an extra thermometer excuse me thermometer so um it's more accurate because I did, I did read some reviews on the internet saying that um this digital reading is not exact 100% accurate the, the temperature kind of varies from this section to the middle and of course from the bottom all right so that's my incubator with nothing in it yet hopefully soon and that's it I'll do another video more specifically showing you all my bearded dragons